So what do we got here? Y'all have seen it in the previous videos, but this is Zach's ZX14. This is a 2013 and it's basically been fully customized. So what I'm gonna do is just tell y'all about a few of the parts and upgrades he's added onto this bike really quickly. And then I'm gonna take it for another ride because I've been having a blast riding this thing. One of the biggest upgrades that I'm a huge fan of, which before riding this motorcycle and before becoming familiar with it, I had no idea about this. And now I'm obsessed with it, which is this unit right here. Now, what that is, is a Pingo electronic quick shifter. And I'm gonna tell you real quick how that thing works. Basically, what happens is you hit these buttons up and to downshift while you're riding the motorcycle. You'll be fully engaged with the throttle and you hit the button. It kills the ignition momentarily to where you don't even feel it. It's just basically like rolling off the throttle and throws it into the next gear. No human being can shift that fast. It shifts so fast and so smooth that it's like amazing. You would think that if you hit that and quick shift into the next gear that it's going to throw you a little bit, but you stay right on track. You can use it in slow speed traffic. You can use it at high speeds. And I feel like that is one of the upgrades on this bike that made me fall in love with this thing. Another thing he's done to this is this unit has a Power Commander 5 on it with a custom map from North County Hypersports in Oceanside, California. And the way they tuned it has this bike putting out 198 horsepower. It has the Performance Machine Heathen wheels front and rear. And them things look good. It almost looks diamond cut. Like if you look at that, that's, that's a bad wheel right there. With the Roaring Toys swing arm. The swing arm, Zach actually installed himself overnight in his garage. He said he started late at night and got it done. So, you know, the boy got skills. He put that swing arm on as well as the wheels. Um, it also has that 240 rear tire, which helps it stay extremely stable when you're going fast in a straight line. Like it just... It rides so smooth and it feels so good. He also has dual voodoo exhaust. You can see there's one right here and one on the other side right here. And they both have the speak easy insert in them. He also added lowering links on this bike and a different kickstand, which you can see right there. And one thing I didn't even notice at first is the front fender. Now, if you look at that front fender over the wheel, you see how it's cut out almost like a heart shape to kind of mimic the way the headlights look. Zach actually cut that in his garage as well using the Dremel. He cut that design into there and I think it came out really good. His buddy helped him um, lay out the design and they both ended up cutting it. It looks good. So what we're going to do, because I've been riding this bike all day, which you're going to see a series of videos for this motorcycle because um, I'm going to do quite a few videos of different series and the more I'm riding it the more comfortable I'm getting with it as far as leaning it going into a corner things like that and the bike rides good like I had a totally different I had totally different thoughts on the ZX14 before I rode his and I don't think I'd like every ZX14 I think the things he's done to this bike is what makes me like it but let's take it out on the road <laughs> I am 100% sweating because I am fully geared up today, y'all. So let's talk a little bit more about the um, ZX14. Now, as you all know, I have an R6. I have a Harley-Davidson Sportster. 
and I have the Z125 Pro. This bike is larger in size than all of those bikes, but the massiveness of this bike kind of makes me want to compare it or say it's similar to like a, a sport touring, but it's more of a, a hyper bike because of the amount of power and things that come out of this. But it's actually comfortable, which I was I was shocked. I wasn't expecting. Now is it gonna be now is it gonna be as comfortable as something like the road glide or the street glide or a full touring motorcycle or even just a cruiser? No, it wouldn't be as comfortable as some of those. I love that quick shifter. But it's definitely more comfortable than my R6 or my R1 were because on the R6 and the R1 it feels like my butt is up more and the foot pegs are pushed back a little bit more all right let's go let's go let's go oh man I didn't get the light I'm gonna get it So the foot pegs where they rest on this bike feels not identical but closer to mid controls on like a Harley or a Cruiser because they're seated in that area where mid controls would be but they are up higher so your knees are tucked in a little bit more but my legs are not extended backwards so it makes it easier for me to sit up straight like this and be more comfortable versus on the sport bike if i want to sit up straight it's it puts on a full super sport all oh, it feels more like i have to do a push-up position and a lot of weight is being applied to my arms and wrists when i'm trying to sit up straight versus on here i can sit a little bit more upright if i wanted to but the ideal seating position for this and the most comfortable is, of course, tucked down like that. So, you know. But all of these different upgrades he's done to the bike has helped with the way it rides, I feel like. It's not, I feel like. I know it has. Because the quick shifter alone uh, helps me a lot. I love this bike with that quick shifter. Give me a second here. Pull in. He want to see his bike. <laughs> How do you like it? I'm having fun. What? I'm having fun. Oh, you're having fun. <laughs> that damn quick shifter. Listen. Oh yeah. All right. Call me when you're ready to get it. <laughs> Those upgrades that are on here just make it a better bike overall. And when I first start riding it, I'm gonna be honest. I felt like it couldn't lean over as good as something like a R6 or a R1. Now, it's not gonna be as nimble as those because of the wheelbase of the bike and how uh, much bigger it is, but this thing will lean over. It'll lean over really easy. It's not difficult to lean this bike over at all. Uh, let's go around them. No point in waiting, right? Quick shift, quick shift. <laughs> I'm not gonna go too fast through here, but yeah, as you can see right here, it leans. It definitely will lean over. He did the perfect upgrades to this bike. Like he didn't go too far. A lot of people go too far when they're doing that rear tire. I think 240 fits it. 
it looks good it's not too much some of those people who be having i don't know what size tire they be having it look like something off the bat off the batman movie the tire be so wide and i know those there's no way to lean them over and then there's people who stretch their bike out way too far and i myself don't like a stretched out bike but i feel like he stretched this one out uh see i, I gotta get used to the button i don't press it all the time i'm so used to shifting normally but the button is so much more convenient <laughs> but i feel like he stretched his the perfect amount he didn't stretch it too far didn't stretch it too little it's like right where it should be i feel like it's where it should be factory from kawasaki like i, I love when people do their bikes and their cars and everything the right way like they don't do too much like sometimes i see mustangs and camaros with like what 26s and like stupid size wheels that completely destroy the performance or what that car is built for when you can just get yourself an 18 or a 20 inch wheel on a mustang or something and a um camaro or whatever and you'll still be able to keep your performance but why why destroy the performance of something if you're going to buy a performance machine why mess it up and zach ain't messy as up he has a performance machine and he kept the performance it's a performance machine so whoops so what i'm gonna do now is i'm about to go have some fun on this thing and see how it handles the highway as well as some of the back country roads with a couple little curves here and there but for you to be able to see that you're gonna have to subscribe to the channel hit that bell notification because in this series i'll be uploading the videos gradually even though most of the videos are all taking place on today but if you want to see more videos on zach's zx14 go ahead and check out that playlist right there make sure you stay safe be blessed and get out there on two wheels people love y'all deuces also Make sure you check out Zach's Instagram page listed down below in the description.